Okay, let's talk about circumvallate placenta. I get this question all the time. If you look over here at this drawing, you will see the placenta and the membranes and how they insert pretty much the same area on the uterine wall and are evenly distributed. The attachment of the placenta is evenly distributed along that uterine wall. But over here, you'll see the placenta and then the raised membranes up on each edge so that the placenta is not evenly attached along the uterine wall. Here is another uh, drawing of a circumvallate placenta where you can see the edges of the placenta are raised up. And the fetal side of the placenta, just to note, is that side of the placenta that's closest to the fetus and where the umbilical cord comes out of. The maternal side of the placenta is what is actually attached to the uterine wall. Over here is an ultrasound uh, representation or actually ultrasound pick of the circumvallate placenta. The dark black arrows represent the actual placenta where the white arrows represent the edges of the placenta and how they're raised and also and actually folded back on the fetal side of the placenta. In the very top here, you're going to see a normal placenta. The fetal side again is where the umbilical cord comes out of. The maternal side is at the bottom wavy part that's attached to the uterine wall. That's the maternal side. And you can see where the basal plate and the chorionic plate are evenly distributed and attached in a similar fashion. Whereas you get down here and you can see where the basal plate and the chorionic plate do not meet. And instead that chorionic plate with the fetal membranes is doubled back on the fetal side of the placenta around the placental edge. So in this placenta, the chorionic plate is smaller than it should be. With a circumvallate placenta, because the chorionic plate is smaller than it should be, the nutrients that go from the maternal circulation through the placenta, through the umbilical cord, um, and to the fetus uh, can be decreased or impaired. And here's just uh, another representation of in real life, normal placenta, what it looks like versus a circumvallate placenta. Circumvallate placentas are more prone to separation from the uterine wall and can result in bleeding in preg pregnancy, especially in the second trimester. They're also associated with fetal growth, re growth restriction, uh, preterm pre-labor rupture of membranes or PPROM, and also preterm birth. So if a patient has a circumvallate placenta on ultrasound, uh, what will typically happen is uh, they will be brought back every three to four weeks for fetal growth ultrasounds to make sure that the fetus is growing appropriately. Did you have a circumvallate placenta? If so, how did the management of your pregnancy change and what was the outcome?